a good win for us, knowing that that would be the the case. You know, we only played them three times and we split um, first two games, so it was good. You know, if we do get in a situation, we definitely will have the tiebreaker with the Pacers. Um, they're banged up, but you know we wanted to come out here and get the win. I thought we did a good job. Um, we had some lapses on on the defensive end uh, that we have to clean up, but um, overall a good win. A lot of good passing, 29, 29 assists. I thought uh, Thomas and Brad, uh, our starters, did a great job of really setting the tone and playing good basketball. And then we've had some defensive lapses that we have to clean up. Todd had to get more points today than he had in the last four combined. What did, what did you uh, see for the matchup for him today? Yeah, he was. Um, he works hard on his free throws. It's good to see that he made all, all six of them. But I thought our guys, when he sets the screens and rolls, and they have to make tough decisions, and, and he's he's finished tonight. You know, that's uh, something he's been working on. Uh, and he still, you know, I thought he was terrific. He could have easily played more minutes, but they played super small at the end, in the fourth quarter. So. And then we had a, a pretty good lead, so I didn't have to put him back in, but he could easily have 25 points tonight. But it was good ball of movement. He's, um, when we move the ball and we we share the basketball, he's, uh, he's he can get a lot of easy buckets for us. On those screen and rolls, yeah, he, John, obviously worked well probably throughout the years. Is it something been a little bit of a struggle or an adjustment with him doing it with another partner, I think? No, I, I think, you know, I think it's you know, the, depending on what teams do, you know, we just have to move the ball. I don't care really who gets the shots. I just want to make sure they're good shots. And, you know, we're spreading the offense around 12 shots, 11 shots, 8, 7, and 7 are starting, are starting 5. And you can ask any of one of those guys. That are, they don't care. They just want to make sure it's good basketball, good possessions. And I thought they did that tonight. Scott, you talked about the, some defensive lapses. What did you think overall about the team's defensive well, we, we started the second quarter, end of the first quarter, and the start of the, the fourth quarter. We just we got to stand in front of the basketball. We can't gamble and try to get points off of our defense, uh, off of a still, a gamble still. It's play solid, play solid defense and make them miss a shot. If you get a still in our shell, that's great. But if you don't, you got to make them miss shots. They can't, they can't just keep dribbling around you and expect to keep playing. But uh, I thought our, I thought our first unit came in and did a good job throughout, the, throughout the game tonight. What was different about your defense against Boyan? This game compared to the last two, when he had some success against guys. Well, last game he got free on a lot of our curls, and we 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 put a lot of pressure on our bigs to help out. And I thought they did a terrific job. Uh, March started it, and Jan did a good job of in, in that first half, and we came back in the second third or the second half and did the same thing. It's uh, Bojan's good. We know that we've, we've had him. Um, he makes tough shots, and he made a couple of tough shots tonight. But we didn't give him the easy shots like we gave him last a couple of weeks ago. Coach, why do you think the bench team is struggling a little bit? Well, I think it's uh, you got to focus on defense. It's the bottom line. You know, if you focus on offense, the ball gets sticky. The game doesn't reward you. And I thought, I thought tonight we were looking for shots instead of looking for stops. And it's it's simple. If you look for we look for stops, you can get shots. And if you think the other way around. You're just hoping that they miss, and you're hoping that you make. I'd say it was, just, it was very important for us. You know, what was at stake with this game? You know, and we want to make sure that we took care of it. We did a lot of good job getting out to a good start on both ends of the floor, and we played a good 48. What did you and the team do differently with Oladipo this time? Oh man, just make sure we were aggressive with him. You know, make sure he's seen a lot of bodies in the paint. Last game, he got a lot of easiness in transition. So we just make sure we got back on the shot. Loaded to the ball, you know, forced other guys to try to beat us on the top. Brad, uh, what do you think about Marching's game? It seemed like he was the best one in quite a while. It was, a good, it was good for us. It was good. You know, whenever he's he's active and, and involved, you know, he, that, that just helps us out in so many more ways. You know, we just need him to continue to, continue to play that way. You know, we're, we're confident in him. He's confident in himself. So you know, it's great to be able to see him have a game like that. And, Especially for the playoffs, it's exactly what we need out of it. Schedule was pretty relentless since the All-Star break, but you got a couple of days off now, you got a couple more days off a little bit. How do you think that's going to be for you guys for the, uh, for what you guys have left? Very important. You know, we got to make sure that we take care of our bodies first and foremost. Make sure that we're doing everything that we need to do to get better each and every day. And, and 
approach each game like it is a playoff game. Because he's going to be here before we know it. So we got we to make sure that we're good to go mentally and physically. Uh, it gets tougher and tougher as, it, as the season closes down. As the season is closing down, how important is it for you to um, you know, play 82 games for the first time in your career? Is that something that you're thinking about as like a, a mile marker for you in your career? Yeah, you know, um, it's definitely a goal. It was, it was a goal of mine this year. Uh, it's amazing to, to be able to have a very healthy year, you know, thus far. Um, and can, you know, hopefully I can continue to stay on that road. Uh, you know, that's definitely, that's definitely a huge accomplishment for me and my trainers and everybody that helped me get to this point. They were pretty much down to their third center, but how do you think you guys match up in case you guys meet four or five? Do you like the way you match up with the Pacers? Yeah, I mean, it, I always, I'm always a big guy. Like, it doesn't matter who you play, you know, as long as we Because every team is going to be tough. Nobody's going to be easy to beat. And he's the first to four. So, no matter who we match up against and kind of whoever we, you know, go against, you got you to gotta play and you got to bring your A game. So, uh, I, I like how we match up with him. Yeah, I think uh, probably just a lot of stuff that we can, we can take advantage of. And, and a lot of categories that I think we can win in, but, you know, it, Brad, uh, last meeting with the Pacers, it seemed like you had to guard Oladipo on both ends while he kind of got some possessions off, but this time you guys kind of mixed it up with him. Was that kind of a point of emphasis? Not really. Uh, it's, we're all the same size, so we can guard everybody. So it was, it was just a matter of who was guarding. Sometimes Corey Joseph was on me and Oladipo was on Tomas, so... Instead of cross switching on defense, you know, you just stay with who's guarding you. And, uh, we just talk about and switch later if that's the case. But uh, that was it. That's all it was. I guess you must have some sense of the standings. I mean, you guys are not tied in Indiana, but Cleveland wins or loses, you could be in third or fourth. If you guys had lost, you could have been in sixth. I mean, this is pretty crazy how tight it is. I mean, Lord knows the standing. Like, what do you even like contemplating right now? This is crazy. It is crazy. Um, but we want to win games. We want to win games. That's our main priority is, is winning ball games. Uh, where we, wherever we fall within the year, in my opinion, is we fall. You know, we definitely want home court for sure. And you know, we're gonna we're just gonna put make sure we put ourselves in a good position to be able to succeed in the playoffs. So, uh, we just, gotta, we just gotta make sure we continue to win games. We win games, we'll be as we right now. How big was it for you guys when you got the lead? You know they were gonna make a run, but they got it down a little bit. You guys were able to maintain and continue to score when you needed to. It was good, it was good. Uh, that was a good sign, but we gotta, we gotta cut those runs off you know, a little bit quicker than we go. Um, you know, just in terms of being more locked in, being able to stop them when you want, getting them lucky when you need one. Uh, you know, just making sure that we're on the right track and that we continue to put our foot on the gas. You know, sometimes we can play some good teams. The teams back in, uh, you know, easily puts us back in the bad position to work in the middle ship. So I think we did a good job of making sure we, we were poised to maintain the start of the game. We came out ready to play, focus. Uh, we were making shots, and that's how we built the lead at the beginning. And uh, how important was this win, knowing uh, the playoff implications? Well, listen, as, as coach said before, we have 13 games left, or whatever the amount is, and uh, we got to continue to win games. We have tough teams coming into our house, and uh, it's going to be obviously very hard for us to win those games. But uh, we got to continue to fight. Uh, if we got to play like that, like we played today, well, we should be fine. The whole, the whole idea you guys got the lead, you built it in double, you had 21 points, 81 point time. They made it on, but you guys scored when you needed to and kept them from getting all the way back. Yeah, but at the end of the game, I think we get a little fancy, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's normal for every team that you know, when you build a lead, 20 points, you're getting you know, a little loose and, and you start making mistakes and turning the ball over and not rotating all the way in defense. And we almost get punished for that. You know, we, almost, we almost lose the game, but you know, at the end of the day, we, we happy that we won the game. Martin, in your mind, how important is home court advantage? I mean, that's that's what that's what gave you uh, you know the, home, the the first round. It's you know in the first round going already to uh, you know going on a away game. It's it's not easy. You know if you want to have the momentum, getting a uh, first game at home, and obviously you know in the worst case scenario, if there's a three three, you want to have the seventh game at home. But at the end of the day, again. Uh, 
we got to win games, and then at the end, we'll see what's going to happen. You know, hopefully we're going to get top four seats. Do you guys care about the winning the division again? I don't think I don't think even we're paying attention to that. We I don't I never heard saying any, anybody asking or saying anything about winning division. I don't think it's 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 the point. How, how do you feel like you guys match up against the Pacers knowing you could see the world? I think we match up good. We just you know we had a much better effort today than we had last time at home and you know we made a little adjustment at the halftime also in the on the pick and roll and like I said if, if we're gonna come out ready to play uh, we're gonna come out with that energy and focus we we, we okay we're gonna be a good team but uh, you know it has to be consistent Marshall, Hill Jefferson has like what did it look like you tried to really crowd him initially was it, is that Al Jefferson? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's just super old school game and I have a mad respect, you know, for Al Jefferson. He's in the league, you know, even longer than me I think. So he's definitely longer. He came out of high school so uh, you know I was glad I told him right before the game that I was I was happy that I was actually gonna bottle the, the true big man inside who wants to get inside, muscle up with me and you know, get all the hooks and fakes and shaking bacon, all the stuff on the post, you know, and, and I mean, you know, not disrespectful, you know, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to Miles Turner, but you know, Young Fro wants to shoot threes and Al Jefferson gets inside and wants to get dirty. I love that, I respect that, I respect that a lot. I was lucky today, he missed a lot of layups. I saw it like you guys had a conversation. Yeah, we did, we did. As I said, well, listen, at the end of the day, we compete, right? I mean, uh, he slapped my arms a few times. He fouled me, I fouled him. But at the end of the day, we respect each other. You know, like I said, uh, you know, he's uh, he's a veteran in this league. He, you know, he, I ain't gonna lie, he, uh, he buried me a few times, you know, in the past years under the basket, he gave me 30 a few times, so I got a mad respect for him, you know, you, you can't sleep on this guy, you, I don't know where he can get you 20 easily. Mouse was questionable, but were you expecting him to play? I didn't even know he was questioning. I'm just getting ready for every game like I'm, like everybody's playing, and, and to be honest with you, it's, I mean, I'd probably rather have Miles out there than Al Jefferson. I respect a lot Miles. Uh, I respect a lot Al Jefferson. As I said, he's a very dangerous coverage, uh, covering uh, offensively. He's a very talented guy.